it's Dollar Tree dinner time. And tonight's dinner is tilapia with Zataran's rice pilaf and some Margaret Holmes seasoned collard greens. We do have some Claudia's, Miss Claudia's bakery French rolls. And we'll probably have some um, fresh tomatoes on the side. So um, what I've done here is I've taken, taken the um, tilapia from the Dollar Tree. The instructions are uh, preheat your oven at 450. You're supposed to use parchment paper, but I have just used foil and then season as you like and then uh, cover it with uh, um, aluminum foil. I have never done that. I always just stick it in there, season it and cook it for, I believe it says 14 to 18 minutes. Um, the season that I always use, I drizzle it with a little bit of um, extra virgin olive oil and the seasoning I use is called Lanyap. They are local here, lanyapspice.com. Um, this one is the Caribbean Citrus. We, we also have a blackened one that I use. That's when I pan fry it. It is absolutely delicious. This Caribbean one I also put on my veggies. Like if I'm making um, some broiled or steamed squash or zucchini. And it's absolutely delicious. So um, you might want to check them out. Lanyap. And uh, let them know that I sent them your way. Their their seasonings are really, really good. Um, I get them at Institutional Wholesale. We first discovered them at the Santa's Workshop. And they are great people. And their seasonings are really good. They have all sorts of different ones for anything you can imagine. So just look them up. Um, so the fish cooks for uh, 14 to 18 minutes. The Zatarans rice pilaf cooks for 25 after you get it to a boil. Um, the French rolls, they bake at 400. And I want to say they cook for 8 minutes. And then, of course, your collard greens, you just got to heat them up. So I will see you back here in about 25 minutes, and I will show you the finished product. All right? Okay, so we are back. The rice pilaf is done. I have fixed David's plate. I'm not putting the beets on there yet because he's not quite here yet. And of course, I'm going to have to heat that up and just warm it up a little bit. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and fix my plate, have it ready also. And I don't mind it being a little bit warm. And here are the greens. And I wish you had smell a vision because let me tell you, this smells fantastic. I take two. Kelsey, for whatever reason, has decided she's not hungry. Okay, so um, now the fish, as you saw it before, uh, it didn't shrivel up too bad. However, um, I, what I did was I turned the uh, temperature down to about, I turned it down to the 400 to cook the rolls. So it did sh uh, dry it out a little bit. So for future reference, I won't do that, but you know, the rolls look scrumptious. They're still soft, but yet they do have a nice crunch to them. And I'm gonna add, okay, so I did taste these already, the beets. Uh, they, are, they are kind of a, they're not crunchy like a pickle, but they are firm and they are not as sweet as a bread and butter pickle, but pretty darn close. So there is my presentation of my dinner. Of course, David's plate looks a little bit better. And I am gonna cut up one of the tomatoes from the farmer's market and have some fresh tomato on the plate also. And that's going to make a beautiful dinner. Isn't that going to be pretty? So, and I'll don't, just ignore my pile of mail. I haven't gone through that yet.
So there you have it. And I'll take a final picture of the completed plates. So, all right. I hope y'all have enjoyed the Dollar Tree tilapia haul. So um, enjoy. Talk to y'all soon. Thumbs up, you guys. Come back and see me. Bye.